myself lokesh sahu i am describing here mpeg that is motion picture expert group it is a brief introduction to mpeg so first of all then i would like to tell about what is mpeg so mpeg is nothing but is it is a standard for encoding videos movies or some motion pictures so it is having some standards like mpeg1 mpeg2 and mpeg4 these are the uh, current standards of mpeg it exploit motion prediction motion prediction means here we describe motion vector with which one can predict the pixel values by using reference pixel like we have some images so based on previous image we will try to predict the uh, future image pixel value so it is used for motion prediction it is one of the important thing in mpeg then come to then all the steps of mpeg is same as jpeg it is uh, similar to jpeg only uh, different thing is motion back motion prediction so these are the different steps there is first thing is data preparation data preparation means it is uh, similar to jpeg like we have a rgb image we will convert into grayscale image and then do, uh, data processing data processing having two steps like motor motion motion prediction and dcd so motion prediction i described and come to discrete cos cosine transform and the third step is quantization and entropy so one by one i will explain here that data preparation like suppose we have any rgb image so we will convert into ycbr by cvcr ratio so mpeg1 follow this 411 means y ratio is 4 cb means luminance is 1 and chrominance is 1 for mpeg1 these are the two standard how to calculate the ycbr uh, ycb and cr values so th these are the pixel values and this is the default values for that so and then we divide the frame into micro blocks micro block means suppose we have frame so for luminance we divide into 16 cross 16 pixel value and for chrominance we divide into 8 cross 8 uh, 8 cross 8 uh, pixel value so uh, micro block is used further like data processing data processing here we apply motion prediction on micro block level so as, as i told that micro block is a useful thing here because we are dividing into, uh, into frames that i will describe here and in that frame we are applying uh, micro blocks we are dividing into macro block and then uh, divide uh, then uh, going for motion prediction so in general cases the uh, prediction encoding only apply into part of image not the whole image so motion prediction used to figure out where this macro block may be in the next frame so the uh, as, as i told that motion prediction used for prediction the uh, predicting the reference pixels so these are the technique for that like forward prediction so it, it predict based on previous frame whatever frame you have previously it, it is predict, predicting based on that then come to backward prediction backward prediction is based on future frames uh, whatever it is i will tell you and then come to y, y direction of prediction prediction based on both previous and future frames then come to these are the different frames that amp, any mpeg video or motion picture contains like ipb i frame is independent of temporal prediction means no constraint of time so independent of coded and no temporal prediction and can start decoding once we have an ip so first first thing is no about i frame then come to p frame p frame as, uh, as i told that it is a forward predicted frames so it is based on previous i or p frame anyone can use and then b p frame b frame is a bidirectional predicted frame so it is based on i and p frame so suppose we have a picture so any set can be follow here like i based on 2 i frame in between that any number of b or p frame can be there or uh, i together i frame can be there or between two i frame p frame can be there so mpeg decoded may have to offer extra frame to data beside being displayed and then these are the different steps further steps that i use for it is similar as jpeg dct dc stand for discrete cosine transformation this we generally we apply dct on 8 cross 8 data block so dc coefficient means we have some uh, cosine transformation we will convert into frequency domain and one is ac co coefficient 
so generally DC coefficient using DCD and then second step is quantization quantization here quantization apply on frequency domain or we will favor here low frequency domain then come to entropy encoding entropy encoding is nothing but like uh, we have seen Huffman coding that is used for text encoding so here also we, uh, after converting image into uh, cosine transformation we will apply in, uh, some codings like Huffman coding run line coding or here we apply zigzag motion in the image so this is the brief introduction of ampeg one that I described here that uh, it is having uh, three frames like I frame, P frame and B frame and back exploit motion and prediction that I told you and these, these are the standard follow I frame only or I add P frame only or I, P, B both so thank you, thank you for listening